What's up ladies and gentlemen today? In today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to build your very own bus station. This is the model based off at Whitford's, Perth Bus Port and Warwick. It'll be the oval loops type of system where buses enter in and unlike normal loops, they actually take a turn to the right to serve the island platform. So, yeah. Now it's not going to be exactly the same as the others, but y you'll see what I mean. So first of all, we want to give ourselves um, structure blocks. This will make the entire thing easier. I'm going to place it down and then rotate ourselves so this side, which is the red line faces this way and the blue line faces this way. Your red line will be your X axis and your Z axis is the blue line. And of course the green line is your Y axis. Just remember that. So, depending on how many bays you want, you're go this is going to change, you know. So, first of all, let's grab the following greens. Yellow concrete, grey concrete, actually no, we're, we're going to go with cobblestone. Just because. You can place that yellow concrete with actually um, yellow terracotta if you like. Because I think these blocks do suit each other very well. Just going to get yellow concrete and cobblestone. And then we're going to get uh, white concrete after that. And you might want to get some stone brick. So first of all, let's see how many bays I want. I want um, I want four on each side, so that's a total of eight. And there's also eight layer of bays as well. So starting from here, I'm gonna place one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're gonna count up twenty. Along with this one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There we go. And then we'll just join it back up. So once you've got that down, we're going to place cobblestone inside. Okay. After that. And we're going to place stone brick next to that. So that's what it should look like. And then after that, we're going to place uh, smooth stone. Now in the middle here, we're going to place five cobblestone blocks. And then on this side, we're going to do the exact same thing we did there, but mirror it. So there will be six yellow terracotta, 20 yellow terracotta up here, then six here. All right, so there should be five blocks of space for the cobblestone inside here. Now the reason I say 20 blocks is because most buses that you build in Minecraft will fit in. Alright, so that's from extreme end to extreme end where the button forms the last block. After that, you're going to do stone brick and then smooth stone. Just like that. So we're going to repeat this, we're, we're going to go to our structure block, place it there. So let's count here, so if this is 5, this is also 5, 5, so that's 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So if it's 21 on the Z axis, and it's 20 blocks, 
on the X axis and we're going to lower it down to 2. Save this as bus bays. Alright, save it as bus bays. Save. So what you want to do is, and by the way, this is expandable. Okay. Come out free. And then three more like that. So three, four, and two like this. And then we're going to load it. Like that. And uh, so if that's two, I want the middle to be here. So we're going to actually do five blocks instead. Like this. And then we'll load it. We'll load it here on the sixth block. So there we go. What this basically does is I can put crosswalk in here. Alright, because I like mine elevated. Although you can have yours underground as well. That just requires a lot more effort and lighting. And stuff like that. Alright. I will show you how to make it underground. But for now. We're going to make ours elevated. Alright. So then come out free again. Or rather four. So you have three blocks of space in the middle. In the middle. So there we go. We've got one side. There we go. We have one side of it. Right, that wasn't too hard, that's one side. What you gotta do now is just fill in the missing gaps. Okay, once you fill that in, now all we got to do is figure out the curve. Now that's that's easy, actually. So say we're ignoring this section. And we're only counting the middle here. So that's like what? 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So that's 19 blocks. Okay, that's 19 blocks. Because that is the, um, that's the footpath right there. Just like how, if this was a normal side road, it'd be 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it's 19 right now, right? So So it's 19. So we want to times that by 3. Okay. Which gives us 57. And we're going to head into the plots website. Now you don't have to do this. I'll just tell you what blocks to place. That way it's easier. But first make sure you orient yourself. Make sure the yellow is on the outside. Okay. All right. Now, what we want to do is we're going to come out three blocks extra. All right, we're going to come out three blocks extra, like so. This will help with lining up everything. And then we'll join that up. Join this up. Join that up. And friends, after we've done that, we'll also extend the sides here. So remember, the one on the yellow is the outside curve. And remember what we said, this entire section is like, what, 21 blocks? Let's just double check that it is 21 blocks. Yes, so it's 21 blocks. So what's 21 times 3? We've got to figure that out. So 21 times 3, 
that is 63. So on the plots website, I'm going to put those numbers in to find out the curve picture of the curve of the oval that we need. Two, four, six, go diagonally in. One, two, three, four, go diagonally in. One, two, three. We're going to do two twos after that. One, two, one, two. And then we're going to do two ones. One, one. Then a two. And then we're going to do three ones. One, two, three. This is the turn where this is the point where it turns to the other direction. Come out two. Then two ones. Then two twos. And then one three. One four. And one six. All right, that's what it should look like. Give you a moment to copy. All right, after you've done that, we're gonna find the middle of this section right now. And that should be here. And the count in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10 times 2 is 20, and 63 take 20 years. I'm going to put that in the plots website. And we shall work out that inside curve. Come out 5. Come out 3. 2, 2, 1. Another 2. And one again, and then this time two, and one again, two twos, one three, and then follow it up by a five, and that should line up there. Now, forty three take twenty, one two three four, two. One, then we're going to do an L shape, then one, two, one, two, three, four, and it should line up. This is what it should look like, and we're going to basically do that on the other side. So we'll start from this side now one, two, three, four, two, one, L shape, one, two, one, two, three, four. Once we've done that, we want to follow that line with the stone bricks. And you probably know what's going to happen. We're going to fill the rest with cobblestone. Okay, once we've done that, now is the, uh, well, not so easy part. Well, first of all, we want to fill this up with smooth stones because... The buses, uh, we want level boarding, so we're actually going to fill this up quite a bit. Okay, we'll do everything on this one side and then we'll copy it over to the other side. That's what we're going to do, basically. Then we'll come up with stone bricks. I'll place them here. So that's what that should look like. On the other side, we are going to basically do the exact same thing, but where instead of raising up the stone bricks, we're raising up the smooth stone. Okay, once we've done that, it should look like this. We come up with our structure blocks. And we're going to place it there. So, previously it was 21 blocks. 
but now we've added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We've added eleven more blocks. So if we do some quick maths, twenty-one plus eleven, you'll find out out to be thirty-two. So let's make sure that's thirty-two. We can verify if it meets thirty-two. Yep. And we're gonna do the max range possible. And we'll bring it up to 60. Although 60 is not enough. As you can see, it is still not enough to save it all. So, we're going to do some things. Number one is we'll name this something you can remember. I'm just going to name it part one. Alright. Now we're going to go all the way, all the way where it stops. Break this block, we're going to load part 1, back out, and then press save, and then replace it with part 2. That will save it as part 2. Then we're going to go over here where it ends. We'll save this as part 3, but as you can see it's not 60 anymore. So if that was too much for you, just save it in parts. Okay. So you've noticed this bit, which ends in 4. If we load it directly next to it, it'll create 8 blocks. We actually want to load it a block past it. So come out here. Press block. Now remember this number, 32? Yeah, we're going to load it in. Part 1. But we'll do 31, so we'll offset it, 31 blocks, so it'll load on this side. And then, we've got to press uh, mirror the X axis, so it'll look like that. Now we know where the edge is, we can just go here, part 2. Mirror the X. Part 3. And mirror the X. There we go. So you should see the structure blocks in the middle here. Just break them, get rid of them. And break that white concrete and break this. So now what we gotta do is just fill this gap in the middle. It's such an easy design to do this. All right, it's not hard at all. I mean, it might be hard if you don't know how to you structure blocks, but so right now we have an oval. We have an oval. This is the perfect shape, of course. Get our bus base here. Let's mark out where the stands are. So we're going to use green concrete for this. And uh, it would help if you marked some arrows. So right here. We're going to come down. I'm going to place, I mean, break three blocks like this in an L shape. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And then place one here and break down four blocks. So that arrow will tell people to go this way. And on this side, we're going to come out, place in four white concrete. One here, one here, one here. Then go here, do a turn arrow. Like so. And come here. that. Now you'll notice that this space is empty. Noticeably empty. We'll find the middle of the blocks. Place three blocks like this. And that's what we want. Uh, 
That's for the crosswalk. So what we're going to do is actually replace this section with stone brick. Like that. We're going to break this block, replace it with stone stairs. And we'll place stone stairs there. Then the cobblestone here we'll replace with smooth stone. And of course you can do the crosswalk on the other side too, but I'm just going to show you an example of it on this side. Okay, so let's work on the island. So following this, we're going to come out one block here and place a two block tall green concrete. Go to the next bay. Go to the next one. And you basically keep doing that until you make your way around. And you complete all eight stands. So once you've done all eight stands, they should look like this and slightly offset, of course. That's how stands are. Let's build some amenities. Here. Where I'm looking at, where this arrow is. And we're going to follow this line and we're going to find the middle. There it is. I'm going to place a yellow concrete. And come out four on each side and place a block like this and then we're going to come out four on each side like this and like this and what we're building is toilets so you basically want a H sign like this a triple h sign or it looks like one of the gear shifts that's what you want all right and you can see where it lines up at the end now we're gonna build this out of gray concrete but you can choose whatever material you like and we're gonna make sure these walls are four blocks tall Make sure they're four blocks tall. Next up, we're gonna add in doors. So choose a door that you can't see through, like dark oak doors. And we're going to get stone bricks and we'll make the door frame. Like this, dark oak door and dark oak doors. And on top, we're just going to fill up with stone bricks as well. That fill the entire thing with some bricks. And those will be the toilets. So grab out some signs. Let's choose dark oak. This sign will be male. This sign will be female. Uh, and then these are the disabled male. Uh, 
slash female and we'll have unisex here because we want to be inclusive all right we want to be inclusive so that's why so for the toilets themselves we're just going to come up with hoppers and then birch trapdoors and let's do them all at the same time shall we so you go in I'll place a hopper there birch trapdoor hopper birch trapdoor hopper birch trapdoor hopper and birch trapdoor and we want to add a sink um, to like this side. All right, we'll add a sink on that side. So basically on the middle, that's why we've got middle wall here. And this uh, we're going to replace with ice. Uh, I mean, packed ice for the mirrors. All right. And then we're going to get a cauldron and a water bucket. I'll place a water bucket in there. And that'll be the sink. These are pretty basic toilets, I know. Get rid of your buckets. And for the toilet paper, I was going to use grindstone. Uh, and we can just place them right there. Okay. You basically mirror them. And next, we'll get some trapdoors. I mean, tripwire hooks. Place them there on the mirrors. Okay, we've got the toilets done. So now all we need is seating and shelters. Now, this part is largely different. It, it, it's up to you, really. But the main idea is the same. We have Blackstone Wall. We'll come two blocks behind. And we'll come out. Uh, so, our buses are five blocks tall, right? So, two, four, five. So, we'll come out five blocks on top, then. And then we'll follow that line. Come out. Three blocks, two, four, and five. Okay, so, basically, you want pillars here. They are five blocks tall. Two blocks away from the stand, slash three blocks away from the actual stone brick section. Lining up with the end lines, okay? Line up with the end lines. Now for the inner sections, we actually want to line up with the gap. Two, four, five. Two, four, and five. So we basically want to line up with the gaps. Alright, so there should be four there should be uh, eight pillars now. And then right here, the same thing. Okay. So there we go. So now We're going to get, uh, not black concrete, we're going to get black stone. And we're going to do something cool with the roof. What? Why is that? Oh. We're basically going to connect each of these pillars 
till the very end. And then we're going to join them up. I'm going to join them up. So it looks like a square, I mean a rectangle. Okay. So now this is uh this is where the uh, tricky bits come from. So staying on that middle block, we're going to come out um 11. So 2 4 6 8, 10, 11. We're going to come out 11 blocks. I'll do that on the other side. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. So once we've done that, we want to come out 2 blocks on the other side. Make that 5. And then we'll come out 3 blocks. Two blocks, one block, and another block like that. And that's what you should have. Okay, that's what you should have. So come out two blocks and three blocks, then two blocks, then one block, then join it back. There we go. Then with this line, we're going to join it all the way in. We're going to grab blackstone slabs and we're just going to place it on the outside of these. There we go. So, line up these pillars. We're also going to draw lines. There we go. So, you're probably wondering what now? We fill this up with glass, that's what. We're going to grab any glass, but I'm going to choose white. We'll copy it there. Then we'll paste it all the way here. Slash fill. Stain down the glass, score glass. Uh, then square bracket color. Space equals white, close the bracket, then keep. That keep command will keep all the blackstone pre existing. So now, what we gotta do is these little bits here, which are easy enough to do. They shouldn't be too hard.
And there we go. So there's your roof. And that's what it looks like from down here. Now with these signs, we're going to actually make them glow. So we'll get glowing sack. Sneak. I mean, don't sneak. Just place them there. So you can make it readable. That's the whole point of that. So now we've got this lovely roof on us. So now we need seating. So we're going to choose... Hmm... We're choose Dark Oak. So basically how these seats will work is... You see the stands right here? Come out... Three blocks. And then one block. Uh, then I will place a row standing near that pole, okay? And we're gonna do that for the rest. It may seem dumb, I know. Uh, but that's just how I'm gonna do it. Besides, it's better to do a row of seating, and then we can split it up later. Of course, if you have an annoying OCD problem, you can always just make the seats the same way each time. And, uh, we're actually gonna do a second row. So let's do a second row on this side. So now we've got two rows of seats. So, let's say we've got the entire bus station done. We need a way for buses to enter and exit as such. We're gonna go to where this was and we're gonna basically just copy that so we're gonna break this section all right we're gonna break this section so Come out two blocks, one block, two blocks, two, one, and then two. And then how much this can be? This is the rest of the road. So now got that curve going on so basically at this point you'd think you'd want a normal road but no we're just going to make it free wide as usual so let's get our yellow terracotta like so and then five blocks yellow terracotta two four five Stone bricks and smooth stone. And we want to bring this all the way here. See what I mean? It matches up. 
Okay, it matches up. So we'll just break this section now. And we're just going to join it up with the entrance road. So what I'm going to do is we're going to come up here, right there, and we're going to place a, a long white line. And place the other terracotta. There we go. So, remember, Australians, we drive on this side. So, we're going to come up here and do a left arrow. And then we're going to break this block. This is actually the... This is the exit section. That is a layover bay. Now that, that's a layover bay. That's a layover bay. So let me just... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's a layer of a bay. Okay, that's that's a layer of a bay, guys. That's a layer of a bay. All right. So that that's a layer of a bay. And right here where this section is. Replace that with yellow. And we're gonna come out here, place one block like this. Skip two there. And make it look like that. So that's to keep clear. Now you're probably wondering, how do we turn this three wide road into a two line road? It's actually pretty simple. So we're gonna come out here. So the way I'm gonna do this, is we're going to come out three blocks like this and keep going down, 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 down until it matches up and join it up. Then we're going to come up here and do the same thing we were doing earlier. So, like this, skip two, and then skip two, go back up. Skip two and skip two and there we go. So now place cobblestone here. We're gonna come out five like so. And every time we just wanna go one block in. Just like that. Now what that inside layer of bay is, it's, uh, it's a single lane bi-directional layer of bay. It can be used in both directions. Alright, it can be used in both directions. If you heard my brother in the background, I apologize. I do not claim him as my own. He is, uh, he's crazy. I don't know why the mic can pick him up from the background. But every time I'm monitoring, I can hear him, so... It's not very fun to record. And then you hear that in the background. But at least it's not like my pre, uh... 
historic days where I tried to record tutorials and then all you hear are my siblings crying or screaming in the background. That was very annoying. There we go. We've got the entrance sorted out. And that is actually how you build this bus station. Guys, oh, that's how you build this bus station. You can add more to it if you want. You can add some decoration. But on the bare bones level, that's how you build the layout for this bus station. And yeah. That's how you build it. So, thank you everyone for watching this tutorial. I will see you in the next video. So, thank you. And goodbye.